Hi, my name is John R. Petal Corin. I am the Director for Communications of the Moro National Liberation Front, or MNLF, and admin of the One MNLF page in Facebook. I am recording this video to answer three major accusations against Nur Miswari and the MNLF. The first accusation says that Nur Miswari and the MNLF are to be blamed for the failure of the Autonomous Region of Muslim Mindanao or ARMM. The second accusation alleges that ARMM did not progress because Nur Miswari was corrupt during his term as governor in ARMM from 1996 to 2001. The third accusation alleges that Nur Miswari is the mastermind of the September 2013 Zamboanga siege. Before I start answering these accusations, I would like to thank you for your time to listen to our side. First and foremost, the allegations that ARMM is a failed experiment is baseless. There is no formal academic research that supports the allegation that ARMM is a failure. Let me give you a background about the concept of autonomy, which is the very foundation of the ARMM. Way back during the MNLF war with the government of the Philippines or GPH, in the first half of the 1970s, Autonomy was not what MNLF wanted, but Mindanao independence. It was the government of the Philippines that proposed the concept of autonomy as a solution during the negotiations of the 1996 MNLF GPH Tripoli Agreement. We MNLF merely gave the government proposed autonomy a chance in an equivalent faith that we gave peace a chance. Subsequent to the implementation of the Tripoli Agreement, the ARMM was established by the Philippine government. It is a government institution. ARMM is fully controlled by the government, fully employed by the government, fully funded by the government and fully administered by the government. The MNLF has no hold on the ARMM. The MNLF don't administer the ARMM. Hence, we MNLF cannot be blamed. We cannot be blamed for any failure of the ARMM, nor can we be appreciated for the success of the ARMM. The failure or success of the ARMM is fully attributed to the performance of the government. The Benigno Aquino or Pinoy administration has declared the ARMM as a failure in 2012. And it is after it mismanaged the ARMM since 2010. It is a declaration that Pinoy administration was a failure in the ARMM. In any deals where promises are the only known medium of exchange, credibility and value of one's promises is measured by his performance in similar deals with other clients in the past. The projected failure of Pinoy's Bangsamoro Basic Law or BBL is based on his bad performance in the ARMM and MNLF. The Pinoy administration has lost its credibility in the ARMM. There are more than double the number of armed conflicts in Mindanao during the four-year Pinoy administration compared to that of Gloria Macapagal Arroyo's nine years administration. I don't know where this Pinoy got the nerve to even include a Nobel Peace Prize in his personal ambition.
The accusations of corruption and rebellion against Nur Miswari in 2001 had already undergone formal trial and adjudication in the Court of Justice. While Nur Miswari was in jail from 2001 to 2009, several lawyers of the Department of Justice worked full-time and overtime to find evidence on that accusation. And they found not a single piece of evidence. So the court dismissed the allegation and released Nur Miswari. Raising the same accusation against Nur Miswari again is nowadays a plain character assassination. Regarding Miswari's performance as ARMM governor, a fact has been established on record that Philippine National Statistics Office report shows the ARMM was the most peaceful region compared to other regions in the entire Philippines for the period of 1996 to 2001, during the time when Nur Miswari was the ARMM governor. Based on performance, Nur Miswari was awarded UN Peace Prize and Nobel Peace Prize nomination. Even if peace was achieved in ARMM in 1996 to 2001, It still fell behind the race for progress compared to other regions because the ARMM is naturally a least choice of location by investors for reason that it is far from the metropolis. Regarding the accusation that Murumiswari is unpeaceful because he masterminded the September 2013 Zamboanga siege, we responded to that already since day one of the incident that MNLF and Nur Miswari has no participation in that incident. After th three months of internal investigation in the MNLF, we concluded that no MNLF was a participant in that incident. No MNLF was hurt, injured, arrested, or killed in that incident. Since day one, We maintained a position that Nur Miswari has no hand in that incident. We found out that the incident was just a squatter demolition by the local government of Zamboanga City against the informal settlers in Marique and Rio Hondo, Zamboanga City. The implementers of the large-scale squatter demolition used a false flag operation strategy by using counterfeit MNLFs to scare the people and make them abandon their houses. If it was an armed conflict, people who have evacuated should have always returned to their places. But in that case in, that case in Zamboanga City, at the end of the chaos, some 10,000 families were evacuated, contained inside a walled city grandstand, and restricted from returning to their original places. Therefore, It was not an armed conflict. It was a squatter demolition. And again, we say, MNLF has no participation in that cruelty. Thank you for your time.